Morning boys and girls, Mitch of the Bushveld here. Some of my long-term followers will know I've been on a bit of a nomadic kick lately and I've been looking for a good traditional bushcraft backpack and I think I found it. The Swiss made M39. Let's have a look at it. During World War II, the Swiss started working on the M39 pack for their military services. As much as they didn't get involved in World War II, they did make sure that the military had decent equipment and they had about 500,000 soldiers at the ready just in case they were invaded. The M39, or the Moose pack as it was affectionately called, was a 40 litre pack made out of canvas, metal and brass with leather straps and a very unusual a-frame design as opposed to the H-frame design that everybody else was using. You'll also see that there's a couple of little quirks and tricks with this pack that makes it very multifunctional. Let me pull you in closer. So here you can get a closer look at the M39. As you can see it's heavy duty canvas, metal straps. This thing's going to last you a long time. They stopped producing it in the 1960s which means this pack is at least 60 years old. At the bottom you can see it's got straps for a blanket or a sleeping bag. On the side, it's got straps here for an axe or a folding saw. If you look at the back, I'll show you closer how the webbing system works. You can see it's got a cross frame with a metal A frame behind it, giving you loads of support. Down here at the bottom, you can see these two little tabs sticking out from the pack. That was designed uh, in arctic conditions to pull a sled behind you or in arid conditions you could actually build a travoy and use that to carry extra equipment behind you or even a wounded uh, soldier could be dragged behind you connected to the pack. Okay, here I've got the backpack on, you can see it's got a, a waist strap, pop that up. And you'll see it's got these two dangly bits hanging off of it. For military purposes, they used to wear a bandolier where they used to carry the extra ammo on. So these would have clip onto the bandolier to take that weight off of their hips, put it on their shoulders. For my purposes, you just hook them under there. Gives me a little bit more stability when I'm walking around in the bush. Now the interesting part about this design is that the A-frame can be removed together with the straps, making it multi-purpose. If you're having a medium to long-term stay, you could then use that for carrying wood or carrying water so that you don't have things in your hands and you can leave your pack back at camp. Here you can see the frame and the straps without the backpack attached. Nice little shelf there. So you could use this for carrying wood, maybe carrying a large container of water Maybe you've managed to hunt down an animal and you need to ruck it back, back to camp. These support straps, being so nice and heavy duty, plus the heavy duty frame, not going to be a problem at all. Now before we have a look at the inside of this pack, which is like a TARDIS, don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember you can also follow me on Facebook. Let's have a look at what's inside the pack. So just for demonstration purposes today, I packed inside here the most common items that I like to take with me out into the bush. Inside here you can see it's got a leather sin strap. Some of the ones unfortunately the leather's gone and it's been replaced with paracord. I'm very happy that mine still got the original leather. Opens up in a bucket style. Nice and simple. First off inside here I've got my headlamp torch. Got some spare paracord, a shamog, my billy cane, you guys have seen that in some of my other videos, my fire kit, a nice thick jacket in case the weather turns, which looks like it's going to today, some gloves, my infamous raid bag, 
fantastic piece of gear spare water bottle spare knife from Mora can't forget the snacks Smarties, peanuts, wasabi peas great combination some cordage some extra strapping some bags for collecting water some trash bags the infamous military poncho ridge line and stakes for the poncho and lastly and a little pouch that's on the inside a first aid kit as you can see this bag can hold a lot of gear well i match the bushveld for myself and napoleon catch you on the next one